I will now demonstrate a Fiori style app that we have created using SAP UI 5 framework to provide a user centric role for a housing officer who is responsible for a region of properties to perform their role on any device. So in SAP the property is an asset and it's an asset of the business and it's a revenue generating asset so it needs to be rented out and that's my sole focus as a housing officer to ensure my property is in good repair, good state and I'm compliant and that I can get these rented out for the business. So a housing officer needs to ensure all the properties they are responsible for are rented out, and if not, why not? What needs to be done and how many people they have to, to rent the property? A property can be empty for a number of reasons, such as waiting work to be completed, certificates to be issued, or offers to be accepted. Before I start, I just want to show you a few ERP screens that the Voids Manager app actually pulls together and, and presents. So looking at this slide here, you can see that I've gonna, I've, I'm starting off with a complex ERP screen, but I've got four screens to show you. One shows property data, one shows contract data, one shows service orders, and the other one shows customer information. So you can see as I step through here that these screens are complex, busy, and don't necessarily present the data in the format that I need them to do my particular job as a housing officer. So as a housing officer, I don't want to spend much time in the office, so I can use the Fiori style app across my laptop at home or on any smart device I have. For this demo, I'll use the app. I will run the app on my iPad in portrait and landscape to show the resizing and scaling ability of this device agnostic app. So on the left hand side, you can see a number of percentages. So the first one shows overall void, shows the properties that are empty for the company as a whole. The next one is my region, shows the properties that are empty for me, and I'm slightly below the company average. And value lost below shows the value I'm losing on a daily basis for not renting them out. So it's a real KPI. You can see the six tiles, and these tiles represent navigation areas, and I'll focus on compliance. So we'll navigate into the compliance. So what you can see here is you can see a number of properties, i.e., three properties that have been listed. Those pro drill into the first property. And that property then at the top you can see the property details it has a series of overdue steps in this case an epc energy performance certificate it has an asbestos alert on it therefore we cannot let it go and be rented out without this being addressed and we have a works order open but this is for electrical repair and they also have five offers on the property that have been sent out so returning to the landing page and from where from, where, from here i can use the chart at the bottom of the screen I can use interactive graphs to review the data. This is just one example of graphs that can be embedded into your application. You can also see that I can use filters at the top right hand of the screen. And now I'll turn my iPad into landscape mode. And now you can see how it beautifully re-renders itself. And again, you can see the different size of the graph, but it beautifully re renders itself to that particular scale. Back into compliance. So you can see the data is just um, re rendered beautifully. All the information is there. Again, you will, you will decide whether you want to use it in portrait, use it in landscape. It depends on what information you're looking at, what graphs you're looking at. The point is, you've got the ability to do that. So, that's all I wanted to do today. Thank you for your time. Thank you.